Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to perform a WordPress security audit, which is a step by step list. So, we are not going to waste any time and jump right inside the video. So, at number 1, we have updates. So, simply come over to WordPress website or to the admin panel, and on the dashboard, you see this updates tab. Simply click on it, and then it would bring you to this update panel. Now if you have any updates that are pending to be installed or downloaded to your WordPress website then you can see them right over here. So currently I am running the latest version of WordPress. It is always necessary to be running the latest version of WordPress as the newer versions contain a lot of fixes for the bugs that have been reported by the majority of the people. Thus by doing so, you are not prone to attacks. After that, you also need to make sure that all of the plugins that you are using are not outdated. Now on this page, you also get the option to update all of your plugins from a single click. At number 2, we have checking the WordPress security plugin. Now if you head over to plugins and then click on add new, you can straight up see that there are thousands and thousands of plugins that we can use. But what most people forget is that they really need to install a security plugin. Now there are thousands of security plugins as well, but you can go with the more famous ones. It is always necessary to install a security plugin as it saves your website from malware attacks, it puts up a firewall, it runs an off-site scan, real-time alerting and so much more even with the login protection. Now what you can do is that you can simply check out the plugin WordPress SSO developed by Cloud Infrastructure Services which contains a lot of different features and features for security as well. Now if you want to check out WordPress SSO the link would be in the description box. And if you want to explore other options then you can simply click the link in the description box to head over to the blog post which tells you about the top 20 free WordPress security plugins. At number 3 we have keeping an eye on the user accounts. So simply come over to the dashboard and then go over to users. From here you would be able to actually list out all of the users that are currently registered on your WordPress website. Now what happens is that most of the time if an intruder gets access to your WordPress website, the very first thing that he does is that he creates a user account in your WordPress website so that he can actually mess with the content of your website at any time he pleases. So it is always necessary to always check for user accounts and if there are some suspicious accounts then you really need to delete them. So if I look over here I have this admin account and then I have this another account but if I'm suspicious that this is not a valid account it is placed by an intruder then I really want to delete it. So simply click on delete and confirm deletion. So that is going to remove that account from your WordPress website. After that at number 4 we have website analytics. Now website analytics monitor the health status of your website and its traffic. If your website is listed under a search engine blacklist or is suddenly slow or sluggish, you'll see an unusual drop in your website traffic. So there are multiple tools available that can help you determine your health of your website. And then at number 5 we have WordPress backup plugin. So head over to plugins and then search for backup. In here you are going to find thousands of plugins that can really help you backup your WordPress website which is really great because if your website is ever compromised then you always have a backup with which you can dramatically reduce the business downtime. Now Jetpack is one of the most famous ones but the choice is really up to you. And then at number 6 we have the site access based on rules. So when you head inside your users you can see that there is a drop down menu right over here. Now these are known as different rules that can be assigned to the users of your WordPress website. Now by default there are 6 different types of roles. So we have super admin, administrator, editor, author, contributor and then subscriber. So make sure to provide adequate roles to users depending upon what they are going to be contributing to the WordPress website. And then at number 7 we have removing the useless plugins. So Often times when your website has been breached even a little or if you have fallen victim to some malware then it is quite common that you may now have unnecessary or useless plugins in your WordPress website. Now even in the case that you are not compromised you still want to delete the plugins that you are not using. So like right over here I am using two different plugins they are installed in my WordPress website but I am not actually using them. To put it into perspective, they are not even activated. So what you can do is that after a little while, you can run through plugins and delete the ones that you're not using. 
simply click on delete and in the alert menu simply click on ok and the plugin would be deleted from your wordpress website make sure to do this every once in a while after that at number eight we have broken authentication now poor authentication methods on your website may allow hackers to compromise user accounts and assume their ids by stealing their session tokens and so much more Basically, to put everything in short, you really need to put up some multi-layer of authentication for logging into your WordPress website. Now, using this multi-factor authentication or two-factor authentication will significantly mitigate the risk of being breached. And then at number 9, we have security misconfigurations. Now, security misconfigurations such as default settings are a major concern. Publishing your critical resources online, weak passwords and other security configurations or misconfiguration can often become loopholes for data leaks and you do not want your business to be leaking data. And then at number 10, we have evaluating your hosting provider. So we need to make sure that whichever hosting service that we are using is not only authentic but it is also secure up to the modern standards. So always do a thorough research on the hosting provider that you are going to choose to run your business website. After that, at number 11, we have the FTP access. Now, FTP generally stands for File Transfer Protocol. So, what you want to do is that you want to make sure that FTP access is not given to any random user, but it is only provided to the admins. Regularly resetting your FTP passwords and checking the FTP user list is a great way of ensuring that there are no unauthorized users. After that, we have extra security. Now, what do we mean by extra security? Basically, reinforcing your WordPress site security with additional security measures, which can be disabling the file editor in themes and plugins, disabling plugin installation, setting up strong passwords, setting up multi-factor authentication, resetting the WordPress keys, and restricting the WordPress number of login attempts. And then at number 13, we highly recommend the use of WordPress Cloud SSO security plugin. Now this SSO plugin contains a lot of different features and functions. For example, we have the WordPress single sign-on, we have the attribute mapping, protecting your website, auto redirecting the SSO and so much more even including the WordPress role mapping. Now having a plugin as complete as this really protects your business from unauthorized users and even from other types of cyber attacks. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the security audit of WordPress website. Now, if you have any queries regarding this video, then make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And if this video has helped you in any way or has increased your knowledge in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.